This is gonna be a video review of the Bikeroo bike seats, bike saddles. The one on the left is the Cruiser bike saddle, which is in brown. The one in the middle is the comfortable wide bike saddle. And the one on the right is the comfortable bike saddle. In my description of the video, I'll put links if you wanna get this thing. I got them on Amazon. The company is a family owned company. Let me just say a couple things before I go and do the review. These are women's bike seats, but that's okay for men. And let me explain why. When you sit on a bike seat, normally you are sitting on your seat bones, which are those two bones in your butt. And when you're on a narrow bike seat like this, if you are a female, chances are your seat bones are much wider than this narrow seat. If you are a smaller male, chances are very good that your seat bones are much wider than this narrow seat. So if the bones are pressing on the outer part of the, uh, on the edge of the seat, you're going to end up with sores on your butt, which is not a good thing. You can see over here, it's got a little bit of a gouge to take the pressure off of the, uh, the important sensitive parts of the body. But on the bike roof seats, you actually have a nice indent over here. We have a nice cutout over here. We don't have the cutout or much of an indent over here, but that is okay also. The idea is that if you've got a wide seat, you're applying pressure on the outer part of the seat over here where the seat bones would be over here where the seat bones would be. This is a much wider seat over here where the seat bones would be. And on this type of seat, you really have no place for those seat bones to go, and so you're gonna feel pain. This video is going to be on the comfortable bike saddle. This video is going to be an installation and review of the Bikeroo comfortable bike saddle by Bikeroo. So let me do a quick unboxing. Let's see what's in the package. We have an instruction sheet. Uh, tells you how to put it uh, on your bike, depending on if you have the rails or the post. Wow, look at this seat. It's beautiful. This seat is large. It's huge. Just what I need. Underneath the seat, we have a marker and a little magnetic thing that you will uh, put on your refrigerator for notes. And I think this is uh, a cover that goes on the seat. We have the bracket for if you have the post. And if you don't, then you take the bracket off and you would mount it on the rails. And inside the package, what's inside here? Uh, your words matter. Information card, how to contact them. Very nice. We have a number five and a number six Allen hex wrench so that you should be able to remove whatever seat you have on there and install the new one. And we also have a universal tool for if you have the nuts for the nuts over here to tighten the nuts on your seat. So let me uh, do an installation now and then I'm gonna take this bike for a ride and we'll see how it goes. You can see over here that I already have the Bikeroo seat on my bike. This is the comfortable wide bike saddle. Posted a review of this bike saddle. This thing is amazing. This is the best bike seat I have ever ridden on. It's absolutely incredible. That's why I'm looking forward to doing this new review on their other bike saddle. So let me show you how to take off your bike seat. If you have a newer bike seat that uses rails for mounting, all you need to do is go by the seat post, take the five or six millimeter wrench that's included in the package, loosen the bolt, the seat will come off of the rails, this little top piece will come up, the seat will come off of the rails, you will take your new seat, put it back into the little uh, indents over there, put the top back on, tighten the bolt at the back, and everything should be fine. Make sure that you adjust the angle of the seat the way you want it, and don't forget positioning forward or back for your comfort level. If you have a bike seat that uses the post mounting, then you will take the wrench that's included, loosen the two nuts on the outer side, Put the uh, seat over the post, position, get the angle right, and front back position on the rail, tighten down the nuts, and then your bike will be ready to ride. This is beautiful. Look at this dual suspension, very wide seat.
perfect for the seat bones to position over here. Narrow front piece so that you won't be irritated when you're riding. It's indented over here so that you don't have irritation on the nerves down there. All right, time to mount this thing. There we go. Top piece turned, the seat comes out. Now I'm going to take the new seat and just reverse that order. Oh, this is beautiful, look at this. I can't wait to take this for a ride. I'm going to take this bike out on a 20 mile ride like I did the other bike seat and I'm going to test it out and I'll be back in a couple hours and give you my review. I just got back from the uh, 25 mile bike ride. So now I'm going to review this bike seat and give you my comments and opinions on the comfortable bike saddle. The one thing I really like about it, and that's why I'm uh, going to show you the angle this way, the one thing I really like about this seat is how it goes upward. So when I'm sit the minute I sat on the bike and I got outside on the sidewalk and started riding, I went, wow, it doesn't feel like I'm sitting on a seat, which is the same thing I said to myself when I was riding this bike seat that I did the last review on. The difference is this bike seat seems to go upward a little bit, it ain't, it, at least it feels like it. it it goes up and for me that forced me to sit straight up which is really important for me so I didn't have any back pain um, that's the best thing I like about this seat it forces you to sit up if you're on a touring bike or a cruiser bike this is probably the seat that you're gonna want because it angles you in the right direction but I had no chafing over here none absolutely none when I lean forward on the bike which is odd but when I lean forward I got excellent speed. You know, the thing that's really incredible is I had absolutely no energy at all today. None. I didn't know how I was going to be able to do this review with 20 miles, and I ended up going 25 miles. And it is really because of these bike seats. Who knows why? I just don't get fatigue. I don't rock around. I don't have irritation in my back and my legs and my hips. And so my review of this seat is this is a really awesome seat. The review that I did before the comfortable wide bike saddle, I've got this down here now so you can see it. It does, well, it does angle up a little bit, but for me, this cutout, this cutout is a, a huge selling point. This, this makes all the difference in the world in the crotch area. There is no tension at all, no stress in the crotch area, so I don't know if it has to do with I'm a male or if a, this would be better for a female. So this seat I love because I have no stress or tension over here and that's the se major selling point of this seat. Very comfortable and this area being cut out, this is very important to me. Then with the comfortable bike saddle, having this upright city, uh, seating position, this is really important to me. And this wasn't that big of an issue. It really wasn't. Um, I need to break in the seat a little bit more. I needed to adjust the padding and the shorts a little bit better. But this bike seat, I would recommend this as well as the wide bike seat. Um, for this, I would definitely say touring bike, cruising bike. This is probably the seat that you want. Um, this is definitely the seat that you want because you're going to sit up better and you're going to feel better. If you have irritation in the crotch area when you ride your normal bike seats, then I would get the wide bike saddle because this is going to take care of that problem. So, covers my review of two of their bike saddles, and I'm very happy with, I'm extremely happy with both of them. I just did a 25 mile ride this week, I did a 25 mile ride last week when I had next to no energy and it was really cold outside and I was exhausted and I didn't think I was going to be able to go more than about five, six miles and these two bike saddles are the reason I was able to do it. They're not, if you are not sure which of these seats to go for, buy both of them. You really can't go wrong. The price is reasonable. They are quality. There is just an enormous amount of cushion in here. I was going over bumps on the bike path. The dual suspension on the bottom really makes a difference and both of these seats are incredible. I am going to be doing one final review of the Cruiser Bike Saddle by Bikeroo.
and I will do that next week. This also has dual suspension. It's a very wide seat. A little more pointed over here, a little more narrow like you would see on a racing, even though it's listed as a cruiser. Uh, it's, it looks more narrow, and I'm looking forward to riding this thing. So uh, if you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to share this on any website, that would be awesome. 